all turbo cad versions come with a, a certain number of symbols obviously you're going to get an awful lot more in the professional versions than you are in the the LTE or the deluxe turbo cads so um, I'm going to show you here how to create symbols or how to take symbols off a, a CD that I sell on my Porter CAD site. I've, when people ask me about where they can get symbols, um, I often advise that you just draw them yourself or just nick them from someone else's drawing. If you come across a drawing and they've got a symbol you might find useful at some point, I'm sure they won't mind if you uh, just... Uh, lifted it and put it in your own symbols library. Going through the internet trying to find symbols is a, is a soul destroying uh, task because often you start on the front page and it says thousands of free symbols by the time you find a symbol you want then it starts asking money for it. But anyway. So here's TurboCAD uh, Professional Platinum. I've got my symbols library open here with my symbols. There's all sorts of other symbols libraries that come with it these are the ones that come with the professional so there's quite a few there's some parametric furniture so you've got cabinets and you can name how many drawers or how high it is and how wide it is and stuff like that there's lots of basics for say for baths so if we look at the baths there's different types of baths you can use but um, what we're going to do here is just in uh, my symbols which is the one that comes it's a, an, an open book for you to fill in uh, we put in my uh, egg and chip symbol. So all you do is you select what you want to be a symbol, you hover over the origin, left click, keep your finger down on the mouse button, one of the few times you do, and drag it into the area. Take your finger off and this box will automatically come up prompting you to give it a name. So we'll say egg and chips. I couldn't be bothered drawing a ham okay then it says okay so here it's going to put it into the symbols library you say yep save it in there so it's saved now it comes up as default with this um, question mark all you've got to do here is hover over it right click down the bottom it says update thumbnails left click onto that and here go create and there's your hair Megan chips in the symbols library Okay, that's the first way, that's the easiest way of doing things. Now also, I have uh, some CDs uh, published by MC, um, which are, well it says on a box, 30 million symbols. And they come under various chapters. So what you do when you're drawing is you, well, you have it loaded on your computer obviously in the first place, you open it up, it sits at the bottom of your screen, you click onto it and this opens up. You've got a number of chapters, so we've got architecture, building equipment, drawing formats, electrotechnics, fluid power systems, machine construction, plant engineering, safety marking, steel construction and structural design. Some have got rather more than others. If we just look at some of them in the uh, architecture, so if we choose architecture here um, and then over here we'll have uh, subheadings, equipment, external arrangement, a special symbols, sun protection, technical insulation, windows. So if we do just an external arrangement and we can click on to any of these external arrangements um, over on this third column it tells us what they are. Vehicles, cars, top view, <laughs> clearly not the top view, never mind we'll forgive them. Uh, vehicles, cars, top view, these ones, oh yeah, these are top view. Uh, cars, uh, top view, these are top view. So anyway, you go through that and there's a whole pile of different ones. So I'm just doing the external arrangement, but um, we've got broad leaves, there's cows and cats and dogs and God knows what else. So then you choose the one you want, say if I want that there, and then you can either double click on it or click on to output. Up here you'll see, you've got to, when you first buy the disc, you've got to say where those symbols are coming into. And you can see they come in all sorts of things. They come into AutoCADs, Mechanical Desktop. I just think they come in just about anything because you've got the ability to do DXF and DWG. So these are going to work with any CAD system. But if you click on the TurboCAD 12 to 18 or later, 
Symbols, architecture, sound arrangement, vehicles, cars, top view, that's the one I want. I always just double click on it. The package closes down. Um, you're back into your drawing and you'll get your cursor with this little sort of page turned down at the corner and you just left click and it pops in. Um, sometimes at different sizes, obviously a very large plate of uh, egg and chips, but there's my car and as before if I'm going to use that often I can left click and I put it into my symbols library here if I don't want to go having to look for it another time maybe easier if it's in my symbols library and there it is and again update thumbnails create and there's the car okay uh, and clearly you can uh, you know resize the thing probably want to resize it quite a lot okay so I would uh, don't do it the way I've just done it I'd resize it first and then put it in your symbols library uh, so you're drawing away then you need something else you go back into CAD down the bottom here and so maybe this time you want some um, machine construction should we say drawing formats building equipment and appliances let's have a look at building equipment and appliances there's some tube clamps so you can see on this one we've got uh, lots in 3D you can see the things in 2D as well uh, drawing formats building equipment I think there's lots in building equipment what this disc is very good at is th simple things like nuts and bolts there's uh, loads and loads thousands thousands of nuts and bolts and um, machine construction they're probably under there you go so under machine construction like you've got keys nuts pins rivets rolling contact bearings screws springs washers and again you choose your chapter so I've got nuts you've got the picture up the front you've got an end elevation a plan and you've got the thing in 3d again select the thing I tend to double click on it it'll close down your drawing will open up left click and there it is while it's still selected obviously you can change the size down here if you want to make it bigger and just type sizes in one of these boxes right click keep aspect ratio then change that 16 to a 38 okay and again obviously uh, drag it in and put it in your symbols library if it's going to be something you're going to use on a regular basis um, that's about it I think that's as simple as it is with symbols the um, you can find those uh, symbol CDs on my on my site and as you can see they're pretty easy to use quite reliable occasionally people will moan to me that some of the electronics is uh, uh, American conventions rather than English but you know you can bring any of these symbols in explode them rejig them and put them back somewhere else so I think it's a pretty good uh, pretty good disc really one of the more useful ones